Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Guys, we have another pick a card reading, but this is going to be a reading based on what is their karma? What is their karma for hurting you? So a little bit more juicy this time, right? We have five piles like always. You guys can choose more than one pile, but let's go ahead and just count them down here. Pile one, we have this card on the far left that states stop comparing stop complaining start doing pile two says direction is more important than speed pile three says stop holding yourself to impossible standards right in the middle pile four says take the next step even if it's scary and last but not least pile five says i make mistakes and i'm fine with that so my group ones let's go ahead and get started with you first hello my pile ones i hope you guys are doing okay so pile one let's hop right into your reading here and figure out what is their karma for hurting you so group one you guys chose the card that states Stop comparing, stop complaining, start doing. So their karma for hurting you, my group ones, is that they are unhappy. They are unhappy with their lives. They're unhappy with their direction. Um, they're very much comparing themselves to other people and might even you as well. It's like they have kind of had to look away from this or turn away from this situation here. But I feel like they have done some things that they have regret. But just know, my group ones, that they kind of hate themselves. They don't like themselves. Um, and they're just not in a good headspace. There's like things that they want to do, but they're not doing it here. They're just kind of self-wallowing. They're self-doubting. They're thinking a lot, but they're not putting any action in, right? So... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So let's see, my, oh, okay, this wants to come out. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I feel like they're just kind of bitter right now in regards to how their life has turned out or just their, um, the consequences for their actions. I feel like there could be some people around them too who don't like them. I'm getting with this card, don't tell me what to do. I'm getting a scenario where like they could have met someone who kind of like told them off or just met some people or a group of people that just don't really see them in the best light. So this person's unhappy with themselves. It definitely reflects off them, my group ones, which makes other people not like them. So I just don't feel like they're very well liked by people. They're not very much well received. So other people don't like them and they don't like themselves. Pretty much is what I'm getting. Let me see what else I'm getting from this. Okay, let's start choosing some more cards while I do that. We're going to pull from this Oracle deck. Karma for hurting my group ones. What is their karma for hurting my group ones? So we have blossoming abundance in the reverse. So this person could most definitely be going through some financial issues. Um, I'm also getting here like this person 
whatever they have tried doing, whatever they have tried putting their mind to or creating or trying to start up, it's not starting up. Things are not blossoming for them, okay? And that's why they're comparing themselves either to you or other people. And they're kind of just in this mode like, well, if it's working for this person, how come I'm not getting anywhere? It's like their plans, their business, or whatever they're trying to make grow. It could be a relationship as well. It's not happening. And I'm definitely seeing some money issues for, for some of these people. And this person, if they are like trying to start up something, it's not solid. It's not some, they're not thinking long term here. And we have a man holding a heart. I'm also getting like love could most definitely be an issue for them as well. Um, they could be like dealing with someone who is emotionally manipulative. There could be, there could have been a water sign or someone that they wanted to bring into their life or, you know, have something with but i'm getting that this person may have rejected them here um i'm also getting like they could be very much dealing with depression as well this person um you know they don't have to be a man they don't have to be a woman whenever i get the king of cups this is like my king of cups card in the reverse it just makes me think of someone who does not know how to handle their emotions this is someone who definitely like drowns themselves in their emotions. Yeah, this person kind of feels like a bit lost in direction right now. Um, let's choose these cards. Yeah, there's definitely like some people around them that do not like uh, this person that you were inquiring about. Let's see, my group one, what is their karma? For hurting you. What is their karma for hurting you? Oh. My group ones. What is their karma for hurting you? So we have the two of wands. Exactly. The two of wands to me... Um, is someone who is optimistic about something they have their eyes like focused on something they know exactly where they want to go they're feeling inspired they're feeling like something new is upon them but when it's like in a negative sense here i'm just getting that this person feels lost in their lives i'm also getting when it comes to love something didn't work out with the specific person here okay um this person could have been like, when it comes to a connection, this person could have just like hit it and quit it with them or just played them in a better sense of words. Um, okay. Something that they were really passionate about got taken away from them or did not turn out the way that they wanted it to. It could be with love and it could also be with like business or work. I'm also getting like this person was supposed to travel somewhere or move somewhere, but that did not work. Let's see my group ones. What is their karma for hurting my group ones? Ooh, so we have the five of coins yes so the five of coins does speak about lost in direction right it also speaks of financial issues here and we have it right underneath the king of cups reverse so this person is definitely going through like some depression in regards to some kind of loss in their lives here okay 
It could be a physical loss. It could just be somebody walking away. Um, this person's going through it right now. Or this could have occurred like when... This could have occurred before or what's coming towards them, okay? In regards to what's their karma for hurting you. I'm gonna drink some water. If you guys have water, this is our water break. I kinda wanna move these cards because of the glare. Should I move them like that? Okay. All right, so what cards do I want to choose next? I'm being drawn to these. Okay. all of these cards upright. I was just making sure they were upright. So let's see. My group wants... What is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma? We have the outlaw. Yeah, so this person feels like nobody wants them. They feel left out. They feel like the outcast. They... It, and it's all because of their actions. It's all because of like the things that they say and the things that they do that makes people not want to surround themselves with this person. With the outlaw, this person could have gotten in some trouble with the law as well. This person could have been caught with like a possession of a weapon. I'm seeing a knife here on the boot. There's like a dagger on the boot. So let's see, let's see. So my group ones, for my group ones, what is their karma for hurting you, my group ones? So we have strength, yeah. So um, with strength keep being here, you guys could be dealing with the Leo. This person's karma is um, situations that are happening to them that, um, let's just say they're getting their ass handed to them, okay? Because the strength card is a card all about being able to control your demons being able to have self-control and discipline. It's like, that's not happening for them here. Um, with strength in the outlaw, this person is doing things that could get them in trouble. Their actions are definitely um, not welcomed with the people around them here. And they're just very unstable at this time. Let's choose these tarot cards. So you guys could be dealing with a Leo. I'm getting a Leo female and a water sign male. Okay, we have the magician in the reverse, so yeah. I feel like they're just fucking themselves over, okay? Um, karma is definitely being handed to them. Now, the magician in the reverse to me is someone with low self-esteem. This is someone who thinks to themselves, I can't do this. 
because of this reasons, I don't have the resources, I don't believe in myself. So they're definitely living in a state of fear and a state of why aren't things happening for me? Things are not working out in their favor. Could be dealing with the Gemini. And then we have temperance. So we have opposite signs here. You could be dealing with a Gemini and a Sagittarius. Um, this person could see you in a new connection. They could see you like enjoying yourself, enjoying this new relationship here. Um, and they could quite possibly be seeing you unbothered. I'm also getting that this person could have drinking issues because we do have the King of Cups reverse and I'm seeing the wine bottles and the wine glasses. So this person could have be drinking a lot during this time overeating as well with all the food and with temperance being here it's like even though they're complaining about everything that's happening to them with temperance it's kind of like they're not doing anything about it they're just letting things slide they're kind of just thinking oh this is how it's supposed to be um trying to trying to mask that they're okay when really deep down they're they're struggling okay because temperance to me is someone who is kind of masking how they feel someone who just comes off very chill very happy someone who seems like they're okay all right let's pull one more card and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? We have the Three of Swords being in the reverse. So their karma is um, slow progress, very, very, very slow progress. They will not make any progress until they heal their deep wounds. They will not make any progress until they're able to really pinpoint what it is that's holding them back and it all starts with them. So my group ones, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to move on to group two. Thanks group one. Hello, my group twos. Welcome to your reading. Let's get a little messy. I'm quite excited for this, to be honest. So group two, you guys chose the card that states direction is more important than speed. So what am I getting from this card? So um, this person's karma is learning and uh, kind of experiencing uh, the consequences for their actions here. With direction is more important than speed. This is a card that speaks of the need to have a plan. It's important to um, have a direction instead of just frolically kind of going anywhere. Um, it's good to look before you jump, right? So this person is learning that the hard way is what I'm seeing. I'm also getting with this card that this person could be spying on you. They could look like somebody like this on the card. Let's pull another card here. Let's see how this ties in. My neighbors are just blasting some music, so I apologize about the background noise. So let's see, my group twos, what is their karma for hurting my group twos? What is their karma? So we have be protective with your energy. I'm also getting there could be people who 
see right through this person. There's some people that are actually um, wanting to separate their, themselves from this person because they're realizing that they're actually energy vampires or just people that they know they shouldn't be around. Um, their karma as well could be you separating from them. There's something about this person not being in a good energy. Their energy is not right. Very interesting. Um, let's see, what cards do I want to choose? Let's do these. My group two, what is their karma for hurting you? This person is also giving people and things the wrong, like the wrong attention to is what I'm getting. Like they could be using their energy to heal themselves or to put it towards um, learning a new skill. You know, just something like that. There's something to do with them wasting time. All right, so let's see, let's see. My group. My group twos, what is their karma for hurting me? Oh, okay, we have three cards. Let's just take it. All right, what did you guys get? You guys got the revolutionary, the alchemist, and the void. Hmm. So what are these cards telling you? What is their karma for hurting you? There's something to do, my group twos, with them doing something and then paying the consequences for it. There's something that they rushed into. I don't know if it's with a move or with a relationship or something like that. But they did something that they regret, that they're just like, I totally wasted my time with this. I didn't think first before heading into this. I totally started something new that I didn't even realize would come out of this. Um, and now with the void, it's like they're feeling empty. They're feeling depressed. They're feeling like they're in a situation they don't know how to get out of. They don't know how to shake this feeling to come out of. So for some of you, this could be a pregnancy that they were not expecting, they did not plan for, or just some sort of situation here. And it's something to do with their rebellious nature. Interesting. Okay. Um, now, sorry, I just feel like these are so crooked. I'm sorry if they're crooked, guys. Let's pull some tarot. So let's see, my group two. 
What is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma? This person could have gotten like an STD or something. Yeah, we have the lovers. So for some of you, this person did get an STD. Um, with the lovers card, this is a card all about relationships, but it's also a card about choices as well. So I think this ties in perfectly with what I was saying. And then we have the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is a card all about boundaries. Hmm. There's something to do with people around them as well, like I said before, that don't want to be around this person. They don't want to be around this person. They see them for who they are. Their bad vibes is what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and choose these oracle cards. Let's see, what is their karma for hurting them? What is their karma? okay we have walking away in the reverse so this person their karma is either they're kind of still replaying back in their head what they did to you or quite possibly wanting to go back and fix some mistakes that they have made either with you or with another person they're having a hard time detaching from a situation that they cannot get over, that they regret. Let's see. My group twos, what is their karma for hurting you? So we have healer of the ages in the reverse, yeah. So there's something about them. Um, I feel like this person is dealing with their demons right now. Um, they're fighting with their demons right now and it feels like they're losing. They're losing their battle. This person is stuck in the past. This person is just, um, stuck with some kind of regretful decision they may have made. I'm also getting like when it comes to a relationship for them, I feel like that's dysfunctional. That's not going the way that they want it. This person could be like in an abusive relationship as well. The seven of wands is all about fighting people off. but I'm getting there's also a father figure that doesn't want anything to do with them with this person I saw 1111 or there could be like a masculine person that they're wanting to heal things with but this person doesn't want to be around them All right, let's choose a few cards. So 
So we have the lovers coming out again. That's funny because I was focusing on that card. So we have the lovers coming out twice. This person could be in a third party situation. This person could be feeling a bit insecure when it comes to the other party that's involved here. Um, and this person could just be dealing with a person or some suitors just for sex. Like just to try to keep this person around. Could be dealing with the Gemini. We have strong Gemini energy here. This person's stuck in a toxic connection. Let's see. My group. Choose. My group twos. What is their karma for hurting you? My group twos. What is their karma for hurting you? Sorry about the loud music. I group twos. So we have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, once again, the Knight of Wands is a very rebellious energy here. It's very flighty. So this person, they're kind of just living in this uh, moment right now that's not thinking about the future, that's just kind of having fun doing things their way here. Um, They're getting played. Let's see my group twos. Some of you guys have done candle work on this person or done some kind of spells. And I feel like it's working. So my group twos, what is their karma for hurting you, my group twos? What is their karma? So we have the Hierophant. My arm itches so bad, why? So the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant is a card about church, it's a card about school, it's a card about somewhere you go for learning, somewhere you go for um, any kind of services and it's so funny because we have healer of the ages right next to it um, which are both cards about somebody who offers knowledge who offers information um, this person could have been turned down like a scholarship this person could have like missed out why is the music getting louder I'm so sorry that's so annoying um, this person as well there's something in regards to a commitment. I feel like this person's fucking up a, a commitment. This person's gonna lose somebody that um, could have been good for them, but I'm also seeing a toxic connection as well. I'm also getting, if this person's married or if they're in a serious commitment with someone, there's a mistress that I'm seeing. All right, so my group twos, that is all I have for you. That is so fucking loud. Group two, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna move on to group three. Thanks group two. Okay, my group threes, welcome to your reading. I just want to apologize about the background music. It just keeps on getting louder and louder and louder and louder. And it's a fucking Monday. I am so annoyed. Anyways, my group threes, let's hop right into it. What is their karma for hurting you? You guys chose the card that says stop holding yourself to impossible standards so my group threes what i'm getting from this card 
is this person, I'm getting that they could be dealing with some body issues, okay? Or they could be, they could be feeling shamed right now for, from some important people that they're kind of wanting acceptance from. But overall, I'm getting that this person, their karma, they're dealing with some body issues. They're dealing with some acceptance issues. They're dealing with confidence issues. Um, they're just not feeling their best or maybe they have a let themselves go or they're dealing with some kind of rejection. Whatever the case is, what this card says, stop holding yourself to impossible standards. It's like they're trying to fit in um, to feel validated, to feel cool, to feel accepted by some certain people or just some made up thing in their head. Jesus Christ, it's a Monday, please. It's a fucking Monday. So we have reminder. It's okay to have bad days, but keep in mind that they will pass. So don't let them bring you down. Yeah, so this person, they're also dealing with some past regrets right now. They can't get the, get the regrets out of their head. It's replaying in their mind right now. Um, but their, their karma is just feeling low, feeling like they lost. Definitely, that's what I'm picking up here. Their karma is not being accepted by some people that they wanted to be accepted by. can't relate so let's see my group three my group three What is their karma for hurting my group threes? What is their karma for hurting my group threes? So we have the wildling. Hmm. I want to pull another card. Yeah, okay. So the wildling is a card all about um, independence. It's a card all about standing up for yourselves, um, being okay with not being accepted by anyone or everyone. It's a card that also speaks of the need for you to decipher what needs to be cut out of your life. So this person is kind of making unhealthy choices at this time and it's really eating at them is what I'm seeing. We have Reflect. So this person is going through a period right now of feeling lonely, feeling rejected, not feeling very good about themselves. Let's choose these oracle cards and then we can get into some tarot. My group threes. What is their karma for hurting my group threes? We have justice. Well, contract. This is like my justice card. So this person is, has definitely received their karma or they're about to receive it, okay? Um, because justice upright lets me know that it, it has either happened or it's coming. Okay, things will be settled fairly. The scales will be balanced. 
Um, you know, this is also a, uh, a card about marriage. It's a card about legal issues, contracts. So they could be dealing with some um, issues when it comes to their relationships, their connections, and also some legal issues as well. Oh my God, it stopped. Yes. Yeah, I feel like this person's being caught up in some legal issues. Never mind, it didn't stop. Usually I don't mind my neighbors playing music. I, I really don't, but for some reason it's just extremely loud today. karma for hurting my group threes so we have storm warning in the reverse so their karma is feeling like this storm warning this um this feeling like they're not good enough never ends for them okay they feel like they're always in this self-sabotaging circle where they just they don't know how to get out of it okay And then at the bottom of the deck, we have victory. So their karma for hurting you is seeing you win. Okay, some of you guys could witness this person's karma as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot. Um, so as far as the signs, we do have a strong Libra. So we have the pillar. So the pillar is the empress, okay? So I keep all of these cards upright, but what I'm getting from this, the empress um, can explain or come up when somebody needs to nurture themselves more, somebody needs to give more self-love to themselves. I'm also getting that this person could be dealing with like um, issues with the mother this person could also be unexpectedly pregnant since the Empress does rep represent a mom figure, someone who is expecting. Karma for hurting my group threes. So we have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands is a card all about excitement, opportunity, um, feeling like you know your place, feeling like you have something to look forward to. But I'm getting that this person feels lost. They feel like they're at a crossroads. They feel like they don't have a purpose or a direction in life. They just feel kind of like uh, their passions are being misplaced is what I'm getting here. Also, when it comes to like a connection or a romance situation or relationship, I'm feeling like their partner could be losing interest and passion for them.
All right, let's go ahead and pull some tarot. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> My group threes. What is see my group threes? What is their karma for her to do? So we have the death card. Ooh. So you see the way that this person is like taking away this person's home? I feel like this person could be getting kicked out of their home. Um, maybe their family is doing so to them or just their landlord, their rental property owners. Um, and it doesn't have to be a home. There's something that's being taken away from them. It could be a car. It could be losing like an actual person. There's something to where they're losing something that they did not want to lose. Let's see, my group, my group threes, what is being, let's see, ooh, and we have the star card in the reverse, so this person's um, karma is them being humiliated by it, okay, because the star in the reverse could talk about attention that is unwanted, humiliation, feeling hopeless, not feeling very much um, hopeful as to what's to come, okay? The star card is also a card of dreams coming true, a wish coming true, and I feel like that did not happen for them as well. Ooh, ooh, look what flipped right out. We have the seven of swords. I feel like this person's karma they got humiliated in some kind of way and it could be having to do with something that was taken away from them or just something that they lost out on. This person's karma is also them being exposed quite possibly about their lives or about some situation, but they're getting negative attention about it or it definitely like, um, it, it had an effect on um, their reputation. What's this person's karma for hurting you? Could be also dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio. We have the Three of Wands being in the reverse. So Three of Wands upright is a card all about expecting something, um, waiting for your ships to come in, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like this person um, may have expected someone or something to happen, but they, they got a rude awakening. This person got a reality check with trying to impress people or trying to be accepted by people and it backfired on them. They got humiliated, they got exposed for something that they were lying about, and yeah, that is crazy. So my group threes, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna move on to group four. Thanks, group three. Hello, my group fours. Welcome to your reading. Before we hop right in, I'm going to drink some water. <sighs> okay. Group four. What is their karma for hurting you? You guys chose the card that states, take the next step even if it's scary. So what I'm getting from this card is that this person's karma is them having to let go or do something that they did not want to do. 
It could have been something taken away from them. It could have been a decision that they had to make. There's something in regards to where they were avoiding it, but it, it came to this point where they could no longer push it off. They can no longer extend it. They can no longer um, kind of sweep it under the rug, okay? Let's see how this ties in. I'm interested to see how this ties in, so let's see. Oh. All right, let's choose these two cards. We have no time for drama and you are not what other people say about you. This person's karma is either you or other people proving that you are not what this person may have spreaded rumors about you to be. Let's see, what am I getting from this? What is their karma for hurting you? Um, their karma is that you're not reacting to them. You're not giving them the attention that they want. You're not giving them the reaction that you want. And with you doing that, it proves to them and it proves to the other people involved that you're really not the bad guy here. You're not the one who is starting the drama. You're not the one out here who is um, making it to look like you're trying to, I'm just getting that this person could have por portrayed you as the bad person, but within time, people are starting to realize that it's actually them. And your, their karma is just seeing you move on, seeing you kind of glow up at this time and just not even focus on this person, not even focus on, um, any kind of distress that this person has given you. It's like you're just moving on like nothing happened. Excuse me. What is their karma for hurting you? My group fours, what is their karma for hurting you? We have the sovereign. So their karma is seeing you glow up. Okay, this person's karma is also their crown coming off. It's like they thought they were better than you. They thought like, you know, they were holier than thou, um, but their crown is coming off. What is their karma? For hurting you, what is their karma? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that wanted to come right out. I love it. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck, Ascension. 
So they're, I feel like group four, this person's karma is seeing you win, is seeing you come out on top, ascension. This person is watching you uh, glow up spiritually, not only spiritually, but on the material plane as well. Okay, they're seeing you kind of level up, reach new heights, and just achieve the things that you want. Um, with this first card, take the step, next step, even if it's scary. They could see you moving on to new opportunities and things that um, have really you have really benefited from. And I feel like the opposite could be going for this person. Um, let's choose these oracle cards. All right, so let's see, let's see. We have door to personal healing and happiness. They're seeing you in a much better place now, my group. Uh, fours, they could see you as someone who is just very happy and very content. I don't even want to say content, but I'm just getting that this person is seeing you in a much, much better place now. They're seeing that you have healed. They're seeing you open new doors that just look very promising. Amazing. Some of you guys could have bought a new home or moved. And we have storm warning. I feel like this person is definitely going through it right now because we have two totally opposite energies here one of uh, one filled with light and one filled with darkness so with them seeing you win and come out on top it definitely ruffles their feathers it definitely gets them emotional and i'm getting a bit of anger here as well like you see the way the tornado and the rough waves and the thunder is just so chaotic on this card um yeah Um, and let's choose some tarot. All right. So let's see, let's see. Oops. So my group four is, what is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? So we have the lovers. So this person could be seeing you in a new connection. You could be dealing with a Gemini. They could see you in a new connection or they could see you just making better choices in your life. This person could be um, having some issues in their relationship, quite possibly a third party, or they're just being played right now, um, or they're just not making the best decisions when it comes to their life at the moment. My group fours. So we have the Ace of Swords. So their karma is they see you having a breakthrough. They see you, um, their karma is seeing you have a breakthrough see this person and this situation for truly how it is and for some of you guys you may have told off this person or just brought through some kind of truth 
that exposes this person or that kind of just shines some light when it comes to them. But your their um, karma is your victory. Um, my uh, group fours. This person does hold some regret. But overall, it's like they're just so emotional and just not in a good way when it comes to you. So let's go ahead and pull some more tarot. But so far for signs, we do have a Gemini. nine of swords being in the reverse so their karma is seeing you come out of a place of fear their karma is seeing you come out of a place of uh like uh they can't sabotage you anymore they can't corner you anymore they can't put you in a state of fear anymore They can't mess with your head anymore. Um, they definitely see you glowing up. It's like you're not the same person that you were once before. We have the nine of wands. So this person is now definitely like noticing their karma because it's like you're in a much better place and they're in this nine of wands energy that always has to um, keep an eye out. It's like they're always in a state of anger. They're always in a state of making sure like, I don't know, because the Nine of Wands is like a paranoid, paranoid card almost. It's like whatever you're doing right now, my group uh, four is this person bothered by it. They're just so bothered by it. We have justice in the reverse. So um, yeah, whenever I get the justice card, when it comes to karma, just know that it has already happened or it's about to come. And with justice in the reverse, I feel like it's about to come for some of you. It has not hit yet, but it's about to come. I'm also getting when it comes to like legal matters, legal stuff, they are going to lose in a situation like that. You could be dealing with the Libra. Ace of Swords, yeah. So the Ace of Swords reverse speaks of regret. It speaks of lies. It speaks of someone being in their head and just focusing on a situation that isn't even the truth. It's not even the answer. It's just Nine of Swords energy. Not good. So um, their karma is watching you succeed and them still being in this energy pissed off that you are. So... <laughs> My group four is that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to move on to group five. Thanks, group four. Okay, my group fives, welcome to your reading. Let's hop right in it. What is their karma for hurting you? So group five, when I was shuffling uh, all five cards for each five of the piles, um, your card wanted to come out in the reverse. So this card states, I make mistakes and I'm fine with that. So with it coming out in the reverse, oh, sorry about that. This makes me think that this person's karma is them having regrets on what they did to you. Okay. 
there's some kind of mistake that they still have some grudge or um, remorse for and it's kind of eating them or just whenever they think about you in the situation it just does not make them feel good they can't get it out of their heads and it just does, it makes them feel like shit All right, so let's see here. My group fives. What is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma? Oh, okay, we'll choose those two. So the card you guys have is you can't be yourself if you are trying to be liked and let things unfold naturally. Their karma is they're wanting to be accepted by some certain people, okay? This feels similar to, I think, group threes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you can't be yourself if you're trying to be like this person is trying to be someone or they're trying to um, impress a certain person or a certain amount of people here to fit in to feel validated and I feel like in that process they could have done something to you to try to fit in or to make themselves look good um, But they're definitely struggling with their own insecurities, their own uh, confidence issues. Their karma is, is that they're trying to be liked by other people, by people that they want to be liked by. That's pathetic. Um, let things unfold naturally. One of the things that came to my head right now is you not giving a reaction. Like you're kind of just out here like, I'm just going to go with the flow on this. I'm just going to let the universe do its thing and I'm going to let the universe handle you. <laughs> so I just feel like their karma is you not reacting the way that they wanted you to. Let's choose some oracle cards. My group fives, what is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? What is their karma? We have trust. So their karma is there's people that don't trust them. Okay, I feel like they could have done some things with other people that really made them think twice about who they're dealing with. And also when it comes to close connections like personal relationships or family or something to do like that, the trust is broken, all right? They could have lost a friend, they could have lost a relationship. I'm getting that song, where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Uh, 
Okay, what is their karma for hurting my group fives? The Magi. So the Magi is like the magician in this card. The magician card is all about confidence in oneself, confidence and someone believing in themselves to manifest and create and bring in the things that they want. So this person could could have been like manipulating some people around them and it's like that backfired on them, okay? Backfired on them. It showed other people that this person cannot be trusted and it's all because they're trying to be liked. They're trying to get their way when it comes to some people. And if it has not happened yet to this person, I feel like with let this um, let things unfold naturally card, it's going to happen in time. It's most definitely going to happen. It's just the universe's timing. All right, let's pull some oracle cards. So let's see my group. What is their karma? We have door to spirit. Yeah. So door to spirit reverse speaks of the need to let go. The need, it, there's a message in the little booklet for the reversal that states, you know, why do you need things as your way? Like things do not need to go your way. Let go of control and, and pretty much let God, let the universe, let spirit do its thing. So this person was trying to manipulate or do things their way and it backfired on them that had people walk away from them here, okay? Is uh, their karma that I'm seeing. We have door to value. Their karma is also seeing you regain value in yourself, seeing you get your money up, seeing you um, kind of just walk into new opportunities that could bring money in for you okay they're seeing you walk through this door oh okay that wanted to shoot right out and we have the third chakra in the reverse so the third chakra reverse is a card all about life force energy it's a card that speaks of having a purpose having passion feeling like you found your life's purpose. So this person just kind of feels empty inside. Their karma is, I feel like never knowing their purpose. Um, let's choose some tarot cards to see if we can get any more signs. But so far we have a Gemini. What is their karma for hurting you? We have the tower. Sheesh. Okay. I love this for them. The tower card. Things have fell down for them. Okay. And I feel like it could be a lot of things that I'm getting as well from this tower card. Um, it could be once again like people I was picking up. It could be their job. It could be their home. It could be with the law. It could be anything. But the tower comes in when something drastically needs to change. 
and then we have the eight of wands being in the rebirth yeah so something was put to a halt for them something that they wanted did not come through um this person was either like blocked or kicked out from a group maybe their own home um Very interesting. Let's see. We have the lovers. So we have more Gemini energy. We have Gemini Scorpio. Um, this person could be in a third party situation, but the lovers card is also about choices. So this person could be making some bad choices in their lives right now. Or there's just some issues when it comes to love. Alright, and let's pull some tarot cards to end this reading. My battery is almost going to die, so we'll do this to the end. All right, so let's see my group five. What is their karma? Ooh, we have the queen of cups being in the reverse. So um, what this lets me know is that this person, what their karma is, is them dealing with uh, depression, them dealing with some sort of like mental or emotional disorders that could really be triggering them at this time or developing at this time okay a uh, queen of cups to me is someone who is emotionally immature this is someone who does not know how to calm their emotions handle their emotions and once again just someone who comes off very manipulative I feel like their partner could be through with them. Their partner is just through of their antics and shit like that. Wow, the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, so I'm seeing a relationship for them that is ending. I don't know where to put this. All right, so let's see. It's, ooh. So we have temperance in the reverse. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this person is being exposed, like their mask is coming off. Um, this person could also be having, could be gaining a lot of weight or they're just picking up like a drinking habit, an overeating habit, something like that. And once again, temperance in the reverse is a card that also speaks of having a hard time controlling their emotions. This person um, definitely deals with emotional issues and mental issues is what I'm picking up. This person's ruining their relationships. Like, this person comes off very toxic. We have the Ace of Wands, yeah. So, um, their karma is just watching you kind of really go through a drastic change a change in a good way that's fiery and creative and that's very rewarding and they're kind of just in their own prison in their mind and i feel like their karma has definitely bit them in the ass my group fives okay we have the tower tower we have the lovers reversed It just, I'm feeling and it's looking like 
it's not good for them. All right, so my camera's about to die. Perfect timing. Group five, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a strong Sagittarius. And group five, that is it. Thanks so much.